Hi guys, this video is to show you how to install a new Windows um, software on your PC that helps you either to upgrade from 32 bits to 64 bits system or also to upgrade to Windows 10 like from Windows 7 or Windows 8 after 29th of July 2016 because you actually it's not possible to upgrade after this date um, yeah so it starts with this page I mean of course you have to have a USB stick with at least 4 gigabytes of memory so you need that to install the Windows system from there I mean you can use also a DVD uh, as alternative but um, yeah it's easier to use the USB stick so um, yeah the first thing you need is this Windows product key viewer that's uh, like from here I provide these link addresses that you can uh, download it from here first is a cheap um, address from Germany that's a very good and safe site to download software uh, always and the most important thing here is you have to choose the manual installation uh, because if you download the installer it's more likely that they will add some unintended software features which is uh, yeah some maybe not trojans but maybe some yeah like uh, banner software so uh, choose the manual installation so yeah that's uh, very important you download it and run it and then you get the product key which you need to uh, write down for later usage it's very important because uh, when you use and we make an upgrade or new, new installation from Windows 10 to Windows 10 uh, Microsoft will register your software in the database and so you don't have to write down your product key but if you are upgrading especially from Windows 7 or I think also from Windows 8 you have to have your product key otherwise Microsoft won't accept you to install a new Windows that's very important otherwise you have to pay I don't know one one hundred dollars or something like that this is really important download run it and then you have your key so the next step is you have to download the ESO file um, here you can um, yeah usually this is the update page from Windows 10 if you just want to uh, make a normal update it's here but uh, if you need the ISO because yeah otherwise you can't have a full new install you need the ISO file so you have to go to the download tool here that's a tool and uh, you run it and then you can select which version you like, which language, which version, either to uh, 32 bits, 64 bits, and yeah, just select the language, the type, like the amount of bits, and that you want an ISO file. So and then download it from the tool. So now you have the key which you need, and you have the ISO. But now we have to have a USB stick ready and yeah actually uh, this Windows 10 uh, upgrade site with this install tool that should be able to make a bootable uh, USB stick but for some reason it's not working or not working anymore or I don't know uh, I can remember that some time ago it was working for me but last time it didn't work so if it if it's working yeah just take it from there if it doesn't work with the USB stick just download the ISO file 
and then go to the old um, USB download tool which was actually provided I think for Windows 7, Windows 8 and this you have it here you have uh, the installation guide uh, yeah you here you have the download tool page where you can download it and then it's really straightforward it's very easy to uh, create that you need that tool and when you start it you can select your ISO file which you have created with this tool and then you are actually ready to install the new windows so of course you have to save everything because when you do this it will everything delete because you can't upgrade from a 32 bits to 64 bits system without deleting everything everything will be gone all your data all your emails everything which you have downloaded all your pictures just make sure everything is saved before and then you have when you have your key and your usb stick you have to reboot the pc which you want to where you want to install the new window and when you reboot it you have to press f2 usually it's f2 to go to the bios setup and there you will find an option uh, which says um, start from usb uh, first you because usually the windows is started from a hard disk and then you have to choose either dvd or usb um yeah depending on what you created let's say you have created your usb stick and then you have to say uh, start boot from usb stick first and then you have to save that and of course then reboot again and uh, of course you have to stick in your usb uh, stick because otherwise nothing will <laughs> work so okay when you have this ready you say uh, USB start from USB at first position you plugged in your USB stick and then it will reboot uh, and you have to reboot and, and then it will ask you for your key uh, enter your serial or your yeah your uh, product key there and that's very important that you have to choose custom setup uh, not standard setup you have to uh, pick custom setup for the windows because otherwise you won't be able to upgrade to 64 bits then of course you have to do all the uh, selections which are usually asked at the normal windows setup like keyboard language normal language and all those things and the windows uh, will then start counting up from one uh, zero percent to 100 percent and it's very important uh, if you are close to uh, or if you are at 100 percent then you have to remove your usb stick because you have actually still your usb stick first at the boot sequence uh, otherwise it starts installing US, uh, the window um, software again and then you are uh, in, in, in some kind of loop so um, you have two possibilities either remove your USB stick or you press F2 when it reboots and remove the USB in the boot sequence okay so um, just keep sure you make this and the rest is really straightforward it will ask you some questions uh, as in the normal windows setup but it's really easy and i think it really should work i have done this several times and it always was working so i hope it will work for you too so have fun and good luck and thanks for watching and see you next time